Okay, I'm just a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, so, by the way, I'm going to say some stuff that might be a little bit triggering, so if anyone needs to leave the room, then please feel free. I mentioned um, mental illness and very briefly suicide. So, for those who don't know me, I'm Lisa Mattox, I'm 22, and I live in Croydon. The last few months I've been doing scope for change, and if I'm honest, it's been a real struggle. <coughs> I've had at least 10 trips to a &E, been sectioned twice, and I've been so low that on a couple of occasions I've tried to take my own life. That's the reality of living with mental illness sometimes. It's not beautiful or poetic, it's ugly and devastating. I live with a few conditions, but my campaign has been about BPD, which is Borderline Personality Disorder. BPD, in my opinion, is the most stigmatised mental illness there is, and therefore the worst. I've been told in the last six months alone by mental health professionals that I'm just behaving badly, being difficult and stupid. That's the reality of what treatment looks like for those of us with BPD. And with one in 10 people taking their own life, I know that something had to change. So I asked a lovely group of people with BPD to record themselves saying what they want people to know. The responses range from to be treated like an individual, to remembering we aren't evil people, to, remem to remembering that we are not well on purpose. <coughs> so far, it's reached thousands of people online, had national press coverage, and even been recognized by an international BPD charity. But what matters most is how it's empowered people that are usually ignored and misunderstood to get their voices heard. Being a campaigner is really hard, and I've wanted to give up so many times, but somehow I always keep going. I think about why I started, and that's because I wanted to try and make sure that no one felt alone like I did, especially my younger brother. By using our voices and by owning our stories, we are bringing light into the world, and you never know, <coughs> you may just be the one to bring someone else out of darkness. I'm just going to read a tiny little bit from Maya Angelou's Still Our Eyes poem. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. Thank you.